I think that the budget bill that we have before us today um, has some tough things that I think uh, all of us on both sides have a hard time doing. However, uh, because of the uh, our fiscal uh, our fiscal restraints, um, we have a little bit of everything. We have things included in there that are uh, revenues that are sustainable, whether that could be agreed or disagreed. Uh, there's both sides to that story. Um, there's pieces of good government. A lot of these, a lot of the uh, inclusions in the budget uh, refer to different types of audits, um, some that have even been done under the, the Christie administration and, and those furthered on uh, from us. Um, and this budget, quite frankly, also includes about 90 to 95 percent of what our governor wished to be included. And I think that something that we should also be very proud of is we've been talking about school funding for many years now uh, and what the right thing is to do to make sure that some of our districts are no longer suffering. And we've accomplished that in this bill. Um, we've accomplished a timeline. We've accomplished a way to get there. Um, and with some input, too, from the other, from the Republican side as well. And we've listened to what a lot of the voices of our constituents came out here and said. And I think that what we leave with today is that our house has always been open and will continue to be open um, to make sure that sometimes other sides of the story are told as well. So I want to thank my budget committee, uh, my vice chair, and everyone that's worked very hard. Um, so with that, I vote yes. Um, and um, hopefully we can at some point uh, agree on, on some of these issues. But I leave here today um, feeling accomplished because I think that as our vice chair stated, we have done our constitutional um, mandate. Uh, not one budget looks the same as when a governor presents it. Uh, this budget looks quite similar to what was presented, just a different pathway of how we get there.